And finally tonight, a new initiative to connect and revitalize Detroit neighborhoods. It is called Reimagining the Civic Commons. Detroit is one of four pilot cities to receive money to invest in areas that will hopefully reverse recent trends of economic and social fragmentation. The Knight Foundation and the Kresge Foundation are two of the funders for this project. We sat down with Carol Coletta from Kresge to explain how this is all going to work. Detroit was chosen for several reasons. Uh, one, we really liked the partnership that had been put together because you had these two anchor institutions, University of Detroit Mercy and Mary Grove College. And they were in the same neighborhood, but very disconnected from one another. And so we thought the energy uh, of anchor institutions in that neighborhood could be really um, uh, instrumental in terms of its comeback. We also saw Livernois, uh, which was a which was a commercial uh, strip that was pretty depressed. Some efforts have been made to revive it, and I think this will give new momentum to that work. We saw the city's involvement in um, in a unique way that we thought was quite applicable to other cities because there are 25 acres sitting between. Uh, Mary Grove and University of uh, Detroit Mercy. That is, as you know, is a depressed neighborhood. There are some, there's some great housing stock, but there are a lot of pockmarks, what I would call empty lots, that, that are not necessarily contiguous to one another. They make a bit of a zigzag through the neighborhood. So you couldn't easily reclaim it and say, this is a park, right? This is a traditional park with boundaries. But I think what, um, Maurice Cox, the uh, director of the City of Detroit's Planning and Development Department has done is to reimagine that 25 acres and that vacancy as something that could turn from a detriment to an asset by using it to stitch those two anchors together. That's really exciting. We see that as relevant to lots of other cities. Lots of cities are experiencing vacancy. Uh, and vacant land problems, uh, blight issues. And so if Detroit can create a new model out of this, we think that will be, uh, we think a lot of cities will be eager to pick that up.